In this video, I will show you how to create a Red5 plugin application. So the first thing to do is to open the Java EE perspective. Click on Window, Open Perspective, Other, and then Java EE, and click OK. Then in the Project Explorer, right-click, select New, and then select Dynamic Web Project. Then for the project name, we'll name it My App. In the target runtime, yours probably says None. I've created a few already, that's why I have some in here. Um, but you should click the New button to create a new one. And then select Red5 Server Runtime under Infrared5. Then click Next. And then for default, for JRE, um, this confused me actually. Um, I have the 64-bit and the 32-bit JRE on my system and I want to choose the 32-bit because I think it works better with Eclipse. So I had to figure out which one of these is 64 and which is 32-bit. Um, both of them are named JRE6. So the way I did this is first I needed to know what the default JRE on my system is. So I went to my registry editor, so I click Reg Edit, then click OK. Then I go to HKEY Local Machine, and then Software, and then JavaSoft, and then Java Runtime Environment, and then 1.6, and I can see here it says C Program Files Java JRE 6. Now that's my 64-bit version of the JRE, so I don't want to use my default JRE. So I'll pick the other one, JRE 6. Now for this, I want to change this to where my distribution is located. That's R1. So I'll copy that path and put that here. And then I'll click Finish. Now for configuration, I'll click the Modify button and then make sure that Red5 Application Generation is selected, both of these checkboxes. Then click on Runtimes and select the runtime we just created. For me, that is Red5 Server Runtime 4. Then click OK. Red5 Server Runtime 4, that's the target runtime that we just created here. Then click Next. Then click Next again. And then click Finish. And now it says Building Workspace. And just leave Use Default SDK currently Flex 4. Just leave that selected and click OK. And then this is the client application and this is the server application. So in the server application, we can see that we've got this application.java, and that has our server code. And in myappclient.mxml, that has our client code. And that connects to RTMP localhost my app. And if you go into web content and then web INF, you will see the standard Red5 three files. And now we can run the server. So right click on the server app. Select Run As, and then Run on Server. Now select Manually Define a New Server, and then under Infrared 5, make sure Red 5 Server Runtime is selected, and this can be localhost, and then give it a name, and for the Runtime Server Environment, choose the one that we created in a previous step, and mine is Red 5 Server Runtime 4. Oops. 
actually it's a good idea to click this checkbox because then you can use the same the same server every time you run this project and you, and you won't keep creating new ones every time that's the mistake that I've gotten into is I've created a whole bunch of red 5 server runtimes and actually I don't know how you can delete them I don't think it's possible so it might be a good idea to check that box but I will leave that unchecked then click on next and then here we want to replace this part in each of these paths with the path to our distribution folder so I'll just copy that from here my path to my R1 distribution and I will replace this part of the path and then I will change the slash to go the other way I don't know if we need to do that but I'll just do that just in case and then here I'll paste the path again and I'll change the slash and then instead of sh I'll change that to a, to um, bat because shell scripts don't work on windows do the same thing here and change this sh to a bat then click next and then click finish and now it should run our server app now if you get an error here okay it looks like it worked but if you get an error here um, like I did earlier I found that there was an error in my red5 debug.bat script and um, so I had to fix that I put a pause in that file and um, here I'll open that up I found that I needed to add these quotes around this path in order to get this to work but um, before I had these quotes I had all kinds of errors and it was very hard to figure it out so if you get any errors um, make sure that your red5 debug.bat script is working now I have to run the client so I right click on here on my app client.xml right click on that and say run as and then web application and then I'll right click and say allow blocked content and it says successful connection so everything has worked and we've created a red5 plugin application